Hello, hello, Charm family. Welcome back to my channel, Charm Wisdom. My name is Anna and I have another pick a card for you guys this week. So happy new moon or happy new day or wherever you might find yourself on the other side of the screen, especially if you're watching it today on this new moon energy. So today's topic is in regards to a message from your future self. And it just makes sense to make a... A video in regards to this energy because a lot of us are transforming into a new and higher version of ourselves so what is that version of ourselves or that version that we want to be what is that version of ourselves wanting to tell us right now in this aspect of our life what information what guidance or even message can come through that it could be vital right now to ourselves right now um so in front of me I have a uh, three piles pile one pile two and pile three Pile one, pile two, and pile three. The timestamps will be pinned down below, as well as all information to all my social medias, especially my Etsy shop, especially if you like to purchase my new um, Dark Feminine Oracle deck. Um, follow my social media. I'm always um, doing um, candle rituals for the collective at a um, at a low low price, and I always offer um, guidance, um, channel messages, along with. Uh, manifestation energy to help us and aid us and work with the moon cycles as I love working the moon cycles and it has helped me a lot especially when it comes to manifesting and bringing it into my life so without further ado let's get right into it and I'll see you guys at your pile all right pile one this is your pile so if you pick pile one so what message or information does your future self have for you today so let's see There's something about breaking apart. I don't know if you guys yourself have been breaking apart, meaning coming out of your shell or breaking apart from this old self, from the old skins, old belief, old limitations. Um, I feel like there's just been a lot of um, information that has been transmuted for you. I, I keep hearing incarnation. Um, so I feel like you guys have a very important um things to do in this incarnation or it's like needing to complete in this incarnation so that you guys don't um repeat it again so we have pile one so we have door to spirit so door to pile one, pile one. message from the future self message from the future self so we have Madea, priestess of hecate um, archetype of emotion, vengeance, tough lessons, learning value of self, rejection, crown of sorrows. Yeah, like I'm saying, I feel like you guys been going through this shift in this um, energies of learning the value of self. And I feel like where you guys are breaking free from a lot of um, situations, a lot of limitations, uh, breaking free from toxic connections, from bonds, attachments, energetic cords. And I feel like a lot of this was, um, in regards to resentment, a lot of to, uh, a lot of these energies are tied or, or cords or attachments are tied to, um, emotions, emotions that were keeping us stuck, emotions that were keeping us from, um, I heard on the hinge. So emotions that were always keeping us on the hitch with all these anxiety, with all these depression, with all these emotionless attachments that we kept around us and i feel like there was a need of change and i feel like the message from your future self is letting you know like hey you know the door to spirit is always here meaning the, the door to change your life is always here and your future self saying like you are wanting to choose a way out you're wanting to choose a higher perspective you're wanting to choose more peace here especially with the dove energy you're wanting to choose more more forgiveness because it's all about the heart space this is all about forgiveness this is all about again of releasing old karmic pain or um releasing all these energies that you may have incarnated with in this lifetime and where maybe you are um we're looking for vengeance or feeling like you need to you know to always take vengeance on things but again because this is all about learning the value of self you guys i feel like you guys have maybe maybe have had a tough life and have encountered a lot of tough lessons but again this is all in order to learn the value of self Pile one, pile one. Message from the future self. Message from the future self. So we have unlocked the magic within. 
we have the two of swords so there's confusion right now i feel like you guys are going through some confusion right now and i feel like again it's because of all of these emotions that you are kind of going through especially we have a lot of saturn energy here and we have the um number five so there's some some changes and transformation and adjustments that we might be fighting we might be confused about we might be like i don't know what to do i don't know what to choose um i don't know how to deal with this confrontation for some reason confrontation is coming up maybe there's need to confront some type of emotions but as well there's a need to open up because even myself when i was when i was um starting to channel your guys's energy and you know was holding on to the deck i felt like this like like this and i was like there was too much pressure you guys were too um set in the ways or or too much um hold um have a hold or have a hard hold grip on something some type of attachment some type of way of thinking or you know some type of afraid of confronting something or opening up to something because maybe because again hard lessons do tend to uh, make us hard over time right and i totally understand this and i totally like i you know i had to go through the same shit you know and i had to go through a period of breaking down all those fucking walls that i built around me so again it's like i feel like you guys are in this space or have been working through this energy and there is a lot of situations or a lot of energies within you that have been unlocking that maybe have been coming up to the surface uh, my pile one so a card just flew so we have thoth light codes light initiation great teacher awakening divine magic yeah there is there is you guys have been really transmuting a lot of energy and and when i see light initiations or i see this great teacher awakenings I've, i always see this energy of this um always being the one that needs to transmute heavy energy always being the one that needed to break you know karmic um contracts commies karmic cycles in your ancestral lineage in your life again things that you guys have i've been carrying it over because there's this is all about the great teacher this is all about learning about yourself this is all about you becoming the teacher of the self in order for you to whatever it be lead by example whether it be to teach others or whether it be just to you know awaken to a higher sense of being so we have body positivity so the goddess incarnate that's so fucking funny wow i'm just shook because i am i knew i was kept hearing incarnation and i sometimes you know we tend to doubt our intuition and i'm sometimes i do that myself you know but hey here and again the goddess incarnate and with this goddess incarnate it's like you 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 incarnated with this godlike abilities not now and this is not to you know let this shit get over your head and be like oh my god i'm the fucking goddess incarnate i'm the, you know that i'm like no no bitch relax calm the fuck down you know we're all have these pieces and these aspects of these goddesses and gods within ourselves we all have this potential within ourselves we all have the ability to learn within ourselves we all have the ability to create within ourselves and we all have the ability to heal with ourselves but one thing that we, that's in common within all of these goddesses and gods is all about the healing aspect it's all about healing and transmuting that energy in order to access higher power or access this higher consciousness of the self here and i feel like you guys are needing to bring in more positivity into your life or maybe this is your higher self letting you know hey you know keep practicing the body positivity keep doing what you're doing you know keep doing the healing that you're doing right now keep transmuting the things that you're transmuting maybe things are not making sense to you right now maybe things are not opening up to you right now but you will understand things will open up to you soon things will transform for you soon the light will be shown soon but right now this i feel like you guys are going through this dark uh period maybe this dark um shadow period of your life where you're again transmuting a lot of dense dark energies but this is all about the energies that have keeping us bounded into this earthly um um earthly fears earthly dense energies that we're made to believe that it's that we're something when we're not okay so there is a lot of divine magic within your guys' self, my pile one. You guys have great potential, great power within yourself. And I feel like you guys have forgotten this. And this is why, but I feel like this is part of your incarnation again, because you guys came into this carnation already knowing that your power was going to be stripped from you. And this is why you have been working so hard to call back your power or have been working through calling back your power because you could have already been... Um, have been able to access all this power within you in a different lifetime so in this lifetime you decided to be stripped of it and i'm only saying this because this sounds like kind of like me because i i fucking done this shit but 
pile one. Let's see. Woo. Yeah, you see that like, there's you guys are breaking free. Your future self wants you to know that you guys will break free from whatever this is. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing it, okay? Keep following your song. Keep following your your creativity. Keep following your flow because this is all about following your own heartbeat, following your intuition. Reason why I was talking about, you know, this is about going into the darkness because through the darkness, we must listen to our intuition, to our own internal guidance, angel of guidance. A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. Exactly. There is this... And, and I feel like you guys have been a little bit confused about everything because you're like, you know, I've been doing all this. I've been breaking free or, you know, I'm I'm slowly breaking free from this um, situations or whatever it is. But it's like there's again, you guys are still kind of in this in between um, energy when it's like you guys have a foot in the conscious and a foot in the subconscious. But at the same time, you guys are needing to take advantage of that because through that energy is how you guys, guys are going to be able to um, manifest or to able to bring in this new sense of direction or this new sense of clarity or this new sense of purpose that will you will be awakened within you or that will come as a um as clear as day to your intuition meaning like these will just make sense of like okay now i understand now i understand but this happens after this awakening after this dark night of the soul type of situation and this is why the door of the spirit is here because it's reminding you hey you know your your future self is reminding you like hey you have this um, potential and this ability to connect with spirit, this ability to connect with a higher power, with your higher self here. So use this intuition with this two of pentacles, um, I mean, two of swords energy here. And I, and I believe that's the Libra, uh, is, this card is represented by Libra. So again, it's all about balance, all about the in-between energy, okay? And it's definitely given Hecate energy. And this is the Medea with, um, Priestess of Hecate. And she's become a, a Priestess of Hecate because, you know, after a heartbreak, after because um, the research that I did on her, she, I think she um, um, unalived her two children, which is why I put two angels on her on her card because she unalived two children because she was um she was betrayed in her life and and she by by a male by a by a male um by i believe her husband um she was betrayed by him so she killed uh as she unalived her i'm sorry i wasn't supposed to say the other word um she unalived her two children and this is why she was you know learning um the value of self and that's what she she thought of taking vengeance so Again, I feel like you guys have been working through a lot of harsh energy here. I've been going through a lot of awakenings, going through a lot of initiations when you were, you know, put in positions where you were dim and put in positions where your power was taken away, put in positions where it was just rejection and you had just to learn the value of self. So we have hold your center. So again, I feel like the hold your center is all about, you know, realizing who you are at the core and um, coming into the person you wanted to be at the core. So your higher self is letting you know, like, just just keep doing what you're doing. Keep breaking free from these limitations. Keep practicing those positive, um, positive affirmations, especially if you guys have been doing some mirror work. But I really do feel like you guys have been working through your triggers. I really do feel like you guys have been working through these reflections. There's different sense of the self and trying to find who you really are at the core or whom you are or whom you're supposed to be. Um, but with the sync energy, again, it's like so. Um, you're meant to be someone who expresses thyself you know express yourself in this creative way um expressing and using your throat chakra and speaking and stepping into your own authenticity and your truth here my pile one and here again we have another magician so we have two magician cards so we have um the magician we have not the right time i swear that dog is always barking when i'm doing readings we have Aditi, expand your consciousness and the future. Wow, and we're talking about the future self here, and just and I feel like your future self, your future self is wanting to let you know that there's so much expansion waiting for you on the other side of this whatever turbulence you might be working through, or through or through every dark night of the soul you might be working through. There is because I feel like you guys were feeling kind of tied up in a situation or have been feeling limited. And um, let me close the door. I'm sorry.
So I feel like you guys have been feeling maybe limited and I feel like you guys have been working on setting yourself free and breaking, you know, the glass, breaking this perspective, breaking the scenario that you think that you're supposed to be or maybe that others are wanting you to be or maybe things that you're wanting to please others. This is why the not the right time. So right now is not the right time to be pleasing others. Right now is not the right time to... Um, you know, to be falling through the cracks right now. So keep continuing to expand your consciousness. Keep doing what you're doing um, because whatever it is, it's helping you in expanding your consciousness and your future self wants you to know that in your, that in, this will not exist in your future, okay? Because you're definitely, and we have two doves here. You guys have definitely a lot of synchronicity. And I feel like this pile is my very spiritual, um, spiritual pile or people who are are constantly you know doing the work or doing the work or are wanting to better themselves and i feel like you guys been in the sense of maybe hermit in the sense of um a transformation and it's been a long ride i feel like for you guys so i just want to read really quickly this card here um because i really really i've been resonating a lot with this deck this whole week so have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at their expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. You are learning to trust in your own instincts to take your own journey without comparison to the life path of another. There is no need to become disheartened or distracted by comparisons of judgments. The earth needs your light, which can only come from you. You will offer so much less if you try to make and match your beauty to what you perceive to the beauty to be of another. Again, that's why I'm saying like looking through this glass, looking... You know, having this perspective, having this narrow minded. And this is why I was talking about you guys could going through some triggering, working through some mirrored perspectives and maybe you feeling like you need to feel like you need to be molded or be this certain type of person or, the, or be molded into this perspective in order to be likable um, to others, in order to please others. But this is not the right time to be doing that. The right now, it's, it's not the right time to be pleasing others. Right now is only the time for you to continue to, to break free from whatever has been causing you to feel limited, to break free from whatever is causing you to feel like you can't create feeling like you can't see or feeling like you can't or like you don't have the answers because you do again you incarnated with everything that you need here you incarnated with all the answers that you need to every situation that you were going to go through in this lifetime but all you have to do is expand your consciousness and expanding your consciousness is all about changing your perspective as allowing yourself to see 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 the situation or the or this thing through a different looking glass, through a different perspective, maybe from a 5D perspective, meaning through a judgmental eye, you know, what through um, not allowing other judgmental um, um, thoughts or say whatever they have to say about you or what you're trying to do or how, or how you're trying to live. There is also a lot of snakes in Christianity here. Some of you guys could have gotten a snake tattoo or have been getting called to get a snake tattoo. But this is also, I feel like there's a lot of Kundalini rising within you. There's a lot of creativity energy within you. And this energy is causing you or is pushing you to create something new. It's pushing you to, again, expand your um, your knowledge when it comes to co-creating. Expanding your knowledge when it comes to maybe the occult. Expanding your knowledge with maybe when it comes to attracting things and um, uh, trusting your attracting abilities, trusting your manifestation abilities, because again, the magician, he was born with everything that he needs. He knows he has all the tools and abilities within him, within himself to create the world or the heaven on earth that he so desires. And I feel like you guys ha do have a, fu a future or have a bright future, but again, you guys need to get to it and get on the ball and create it because you guys have not been creating anything right now recently. Maybe because you guys have been busy, you know, focusing on your healing but others have been focusing maybe on pleasing others and this is again take my resonance so again this is all about stepping into uh, more of a hermit mode step into more solitary stepping in more on your lane and staying on your lane allowing spirit to, to guide you and to lead the way for you because there is a lot of internal guidance there is a lot of messages coming in for you guys but you guys need to believe in yourself and trust in yourself here in order for you guys to expand your consciousness because this is going to allow you to build the future that you desire or that you came here to build and to manifest and to co-create into this 3d perspective okay 
Many souls who are different and unique were not understood, acknowledged, and valued for whom they were as children. Instead, they were encouraged to conform, to change, to be other than their true self in order to be loved. This can be a hard pattern to break, yet the time is here for you to love and honor yourself as yourself. You are beautiful. You do not need to change for another. You certainly do not need to change for the divine. You are being encouraged and said to distill your essence to become even more of you. Hold your center now and do not be rattled by any other thought, imitation, confrontation. It's funny how I was talking about confrontation because confrontation, it keeps coming up for you guys. Doubt, jealousy, or fear to hold your center means you accept your intimate value and worth. Your, your right to exist and thrive and accept the love that created you as you in order to fulfill your divine destiny. Your oracle brings you confirmation you're on the right path. And again, do not... Uh, this is why I love this deck this week. It has been resonating so much with me because it literally has been, you know, it's been very much spiritual transformation that we have been going on a collective level. So again, do not conform. Do not, don't be afraid of confrontation. Don't be afraid of others telling you, oh, what the fuck are you doing? I don't like that. You shouldn't be doing that. That's offensive. That's offensive. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, let me live. Let me breathe. And you're here to do something different. You're here to be unique. You're here to be different. And you're here to do something different than what is has been accustomed to be done in your lineage or in your ancestral line here because again this is not the right time to be to be adapting or adjusting to whatever is happening you're here to break free okay my pile one your future self is letting you know you're here to break free and this is what you're being called to do right now so break free create the life that you want move forward do it you know I, I don't know what else to do, but you guys have this immense power within you right now, and especially in it's rising stronger within you. So use that energy to co-create and to manifest that life that you desire. So I hope this resonates. I hope this helps my power. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Pile two. So if we pick pile two, then this is your reading. So what message or information or guidance does your future self have for you guys today? So let's get to it. I, will too. I feel like there's a uh, breath of uh, breath of fresh air and as i say that we have the night on i think that's a page of wands and then we have life path i will read this at the end because um like i mentioned a pile one this deck has been really resonating and hitting this past two weeks uh, for me as i've been going through a lot of integration so i will read that um a little bit later um, so I feel like you guys are getting set to, um, to set or you guys are being guided by your North node, your North star, your purpose, your life path purpose that you guys came here to do. I feel like you guys have been incarnating, um, over and over. And it's funny because pile one was also talking about incarnation. And so it's, I don't know why it's, why it's all this incarnation or this life path thing is coming up right now. But again, I don't know. There's, I feel like there's just a lot of soul activation going on right now. But here we have a life path. I feel like, especially with number 20, as the ancient Mexicans believe that number 20 um, represented a, def a, a completion. It, not num Number 10 didn't represent a completion for us. Number 20 represented a completion for us because we have 10 fingers and 10 toes, which completes a hum human. So the reason why that represented a completion for us. And I feel like there's been a completion to a lot of healing, to a lot of um, um, shadow work, a lot of... Um, contemplation I'm hearing and then here we have home at last aloneness yeah and I feel like you guys been on this journey of self-discovery on this journey of uh, revelation I'm hearing um, and I feel like with this revelation I feel like you guys been digging whether you guys been doing you know tarot readings whether you guys been doing life path um um, readings or if you guys been doing astrology readings like there's just been this sense of wanting to get to know the self on a deeper level um get to know the self on a, on a cellular level and like what do i came here to do what's my purpose you know what, you know um use your hands <clears throat> the morning hand of goddess dark emotions inner battle Inciting wars, crows, shape shifter, dark magic initiations, 
We have Artemis, a brave spirit. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are leaders. I feel like you guys are like are like warriors. I feel like you guys are my soul warriors, my spiritual warriors. And what I mean by that, I feel like you guys always have this sense of like, um, I need to fight for what's right or I need to fight for, you know, the collective, especially with this Aquarius energy. I need to work for the collective. I need to help the collective. I need to be of service. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be called uh, um, to step up to maybe spare some spiritual gifts have been integrating new spiritual gifts and i feel like your future self is letting you know like hey you know you're working through these uh, dark emotions right now you're going through these initiation initiations right now because you're stepping into your life purpose you're stepping into your destiny or to this um basically your, the theme of your life of what you came here to do um and i feel like this is going to require your hands or you're going to be using your hands more whether it be through healing whether it be through co-creating whether it be through physically creating something especially with this aquarius energy this is like i feel like you guys are meant to um create something unique whether it be technology whether it be um creating sculptures whether it be creating something that is um um ancient and old that you are remembering in this lifetime and you're creating it in this lifetime but that you don't know but you just consciously um know this or subconsciously know this but um and while, while you consciously co-create so we have goddess of beauty you are a wondrous being of light there is nothing to change or fix here yeah and i feel like you guys been going through some um emotions of feeling like maybe you're not good enough or maybe like i don't think i'm supposed to be doing this or um this energy be like um because i feel like you guys are meant to be on the lights but you guys are too comfortable with being behind the scenes or being too comfortable being the um second wheeler or being on the passenger side when you guys are meant to be leaders when you guys are meant to be like presidents when you guys are meant to be ceos when you guys are meant to be i don't know spiritual teachers when you guys are supposed to be spiritual healer whatever it is you know what i'm saying like instead of you know being a paramedic knowing that you're meant to be a doctor but you're a paramedic you know what i'm saying something like that so we have sex so we have you know finding pleasure finding pleasure in the things that you do so and we have hands again here um, I feel like your future self is kind of giving you a hand right now. Um, that I feel like your um higher self is very, um, and I said your higher self. So I feel like your higher self is working um consciously um with your future self here, and um in order to kind of help you bring in more pleasure and seeking more pleasure, especially in the present um present moments. Yeah, don't stop. Don't stop. Attachment. Trust your instincts. Friendship. Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sexuality. I mean, sensuality. I feel like you guys, especially with the sex energy and the use your hands, you guys are all my creatives here. I feel like you guys are, um, again, are meant to use this creative power and creative energy for the collective or for the betterment of the collective or the betterment of the consciousness of the collective or the world. Um, but I feel like some of you guys have some attachments here, whether it be two people, whether it be two friendships, are are afraid of letting go of certain friendships here. Um, but I also feel like this is also an attachment to your old self, to your old self. Okay, my pile too. I feel like for some it is an attachment to your old self. It's like there. I feel like some of you guys could be going through a sense of mourning your old old self. Which is why the goddess of beauty is here. You are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. Because again, I feel like you guys are going through this confidence. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot of energy going on in your solar plexus and as well as your sacral um, chakra. And we do have the sacral chakra here. There's a lot of feminine energy. A lot of you guys have been healing a lot of feminine energy, um, have been healing your sense of self-worth, have been healing your sense of receiving here. For others of you guys, I feel like you guys are attracting new connections in your life that is going to also going to help you and where you guys, again, because some of you guys have been um, 
might be my loners again might be my weirdos um the ones that don't really resonate with certain people or it can be you know around certain people i feel like the right people are going to be coming in into your life but there's also a need to trust your intuition right now trust where you're being led trust what is happening um let me see what this um card has to say because for you guys, I feel like there's not a lot of information coming through us. With Pile 1, I feel like there were streams of information coming through. So, my Pile 2. So, do you wonder about your divine life path and purpose? You have been enrolled in spiritual training. This training might be obvious in the form of a course you are undertaking or hidden in a life lesson that is currently triggering your healing, learning, or growth. Whether it's obvious or not, successfully completing this training will empower you to fulfill your divine life purpose this lifetime further clarity will be revealed to you the universe promises that you shall know what you need at the perfect time and in a way that you cannot miss you are in a spiritual training for a divine mission that serves your soul development and spiritual growth will simultaneously helping others it will help you express your spiritual purpose this lifetime. At times, your training may be aligned with study or applying for skills in ways that seem more obvious aligned with the spiritual path. At other times, your spiritual training may be disguised in ordinary life circumstances. How you are in a spiritual training at the moment, look to the situations in your life that are causing you the most struggle. This is where you will find your training taking place. The struggle is the place where holding on is competing with letting go. It is attached. It is, however, nothing to be ashamed of a growth edge where you are doing the inner work of growing into more peace, trust, and love. It is a sign that you are currently growing. It isn't comfortable. Sometimes it might cause fatigue, even a feeling of defeat, yet you shall not give up. You shall continue, and in time, you shall try with a feeling of peace, resolution, and wisdom. So again, whatever it is, do not give up. Do not stop. Your higher, your, I keep saying higher self, your future self is telling you do not stop. Do not stop, okay? Whatever it is, and I feel like what I want to say too, you've been training this for lifetimes for some reason, okay? Um, you've been doing this, going through this for lifetimes. Maybe this is why it's, it's, there's this sense of ex uh, exhaustion. Maybe there's a sense of like resentment. There's a sense of like, you know what, fuck this shit. Like, I'm tired of this. Like, I keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And like, nothing is working. Nothing is happening. But again, it's only these dark emotions, these this energy that you are just going within yourself, this inner battles that you're working through yourself. And again, it's just like this card was saying, you know, these are, this is where you're training. This is what, this is circumstances in these lessons is what's currently um, challenging you right now and for this growth in order to help you step into this north or your purpose energy here. And with the sex energy here, it's letting you know like, hey, seek more pleasure right now. This is, this is what's going to help you transmute this dark emotion this is what's going to help you transmute this energy because there is a lot of anger that could is coming up especially with this fiery energy is this energy of like you know what i like i just want to burn bridges and yes that's what you're being called to do but if you kind of let this because it, since it is fire energy and it is very chaotic if you let this energy run wild then it could really burn more than just bridges here so use that energy to seek more pleasure find more pleasure in your life by using your hands here again is with creating you're being called to create it's time to to take action how are you being called to take action and however way you're being called to take action right now is how you're going to allow yourself to detach yourself from whatever you're still holding on to whether it be a perspective of yourself whether it be fake people around you whether it be a, a belief about yourself whether it be again it's just this facade of thinking that you're okay but meaning you're you're kind of just kind of in this dark emotions you know and you just let you're letting this imprison you so don't stop keep going find the beauty within the situation find the sting within the the wisdom here because yes thing the sting is only here for a moment but the wisdom stays stays with us forever but when we keep the sting we repeat that pain over and over and over again so just trust your instincts okay there is a definite metamorphosis um space that you guys are 
going through. I do feel like there's a lot of animal totems that are coming in for you guys as well and helping you and assisting you through these transformations. But I feel like um, there could be either a friend that is leaving your life or a new friend that could be coming in to help and assist you with this energy. But again, you guys are very... Uh, of my brave spirits again you guys are the ones that are always needing again to fight to fight to get to the next level and things could be exhausting as fuck and I, and I totally get this and i totally understand this okay but again you've been training this for lifetimes and you will understand this at the end and this is what your future self wants to let you know you will understand this but just trust me right now trust me that trust um trust the process trust what's going on in your life trust the the blockages that you might be working through trust the uh, you know the detours that you're working through right now trust the uh, situations that might be uh, being uh, rooted right now things might be very sensitive right now but you know these are it's only to work through these dark emotions that you have so you might be tender you know tender at the point but again it's just because you're remembering you're you're still holding to a lot of the pain or a lot of these dark emotions or memories within your dna or cellular level so use that courage or that strength and um, place it and focus it somewhere else because i feel like this is why you're kind of um it's inciting wars meaning that you could be causing like you know like i don't know where like someone cuts you off and you'd be like oh, you fucking bitch da, 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 da. you know it'll be like be going one zero to hundred real quick so your future self just letting you know use that energy anchor that energy and and send it and shift it so somewhere else use it somewhere else it's just like you know how sex people just use sex just for thinking that it's pleasure but in reality sex is higher than that sex is union sex is a sacred dance with the universe with sacred energy and where it's going to allow you to use it for different abilities for different situations and and whether it be for healing whether it be for manifesting whether it be for accessing higher versions and consciousness of the self or the universe whatever it is again use that energy and shift it for something different okay and find pleasure in what you're doing this is what's going to help you come uh, come out of that okay um so i hope this helps i hope this resonates let me know what you guys think down below um and i'll talk to you guys soon all right pile three last pile so what message does your future self have for you or guidance so let's see i feel like your future self is presenting something to you i feel like your future self is offering you something here especially through this guidance so let's see pile three what message So we have Goddess Lilith. We have freedom, leader, shun, equal, pursuit of happiness, self-worth, self-respect. First woman, we have fifth rate of intellectual knowledge. This makes total sense and why shun is here. And it's funny how, you know, they're all looking at her and like, oh, uh, uh, you know, and that's how Lilith was is usually viewed as the sense of like, oh you know she's a whore she's this she's that and it's like uh no excuse me no you know but it's it's i feel like that uh, your future self is is gifting you the sense of serenity or the sense of peace or the sense of welcoming like i i i don't know how else to explain it but let's get a little bit deeper here yeah there's a your your future self communicates with you constantly and is always sending you signs so we have angel of love mary magdalene sacred marriage we have five of swords connect with fire anunnaki light codes energetic shift new information end of a cycle ace of swords we have perfect timing for some reason what i uh, something that strongly wants to um communicate and i feel like reason why your future self is very always communicating with you guys i feel like because you guys are always kind of in a sense in the future or always in a hurry to get in the future or always you know um thinking too far into the future which is good you know sometimes it's good but it's always you know needing to always um take time and break out of that in order to ground that energy in our present moment and to be present in our moments um i feel like there um your your um future self is constantly 
bringing new information for you or giving you glimpse of the future here. Um, in order for you to bring me in here, okay? So we have perfect timing. So again, whatever it is that your future self is presenting to you right now, or whether it be through um, your intuition, whether it be through, um, through I don't know, especially with the connect here with fire, with through a ritual or through an awakening or through a sudden aha moment, through a sudden breakthrough, I feel like this information is going to come through and it's going to be perfect timing in order for you to start this or to um, take action on it or to um, express it whether especially we have swords energy so whether it be to express it or to share it with the collective or share it with others and again it is, there's a sense of feeling like oh like it's not gonna this information is not gonna be welcome or it's not gonna be well perceived by the collective or by the people but it's like you know this energy especially with Mary Magdalena and um, Lilith these energies tend to be very, um, very shunned. Energies that are being shunned by, re um, by religion, by Christianity, you know, and whether these women are seen as whores, as Mary Magdalene were seen, was seen as the whore of Jesus, you know, and Lilith was seen as as the whore as of Adam. So again, I feel like you guys have this very um, sense of um, fear of persecution here, a sense. Or uh, people are going to take advantage of you or, or something like that. But again, you guys are aligned, okay? Especially with this perfect timing. I feel like everything is going to happen at perfect timing, okay? Yeah, miracles. There's a miracle that's going to be occurring for you guys. So we have Die Deep. We have Goddess of Knowledge. Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. Last card, we have a Moonlight Dance Feminine Energy. Yes, I definitely do feel a lot of feminine energy from you guys. I feel like you guys are in the sense of, again, you guys are in the sense of alignment with who you are. Um, and your future self is basically, you know, letting you know or, again, gifting you this sense of, of peace, of to being comfortable with who you are because later on, you're going to be so much in your light so much empowered that everything that you're so were afraid of or afraid of this fear of persecution like everything you were afraid of is not going to matter at the end at, at the end of this journey or at the end of this this learning lesson that you guys are going through here uh, for you some of other of you guys i feel like there's an energy shift that is coming in here i feel like you guys are cutting a lot of um self-sabotage beliefs a lot of um limitation beliefs um but I feel like a lot of your guys is um also um way of like what is that word that I want to look for the way of like receiving criticism is changing like the way of receiving um outside help or receiving outside information from outside people you know maybe you should do this or da 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 like you guys are taking it differently where i feel like before you a lot of you guys were taking it very very personal and for the other group of the collective i feel like some of this energy is surrounded around your love life i feel like um a lot of you guys feel like you guys are very much independent women or independent males or always feel like you guys are very different and don't, um, you know, resonate with a lot of people. And I feel like you guys, you know, have been looking for love or have been searching for love or maybe even waiting for love. And I feel like you guys have always been in, in um, situations where you guys were always getting cheated on, always getting betrayed here. And you guys were always, you know, the ones left with all the baggage here or all these emotions. Um, and I feel like some of you guys might be feeling like, you know, maybe in a sense of desperation or in the sense of like, oh, I'm going to be forever alone or the sense of like, you know, I'm never going to be able to, you know, be in a sacred marriage. I'm never going to be able to be in this union or be with my twin flame or soulmate. And I'm doing this because I don't, I have different views on that. So I'm just saying that in case for those that do believe, but I feel like um, you guys might be going through some self-love energy, some self-love activations through some heart chakra activations here. And where a lot of you guys are being called to dive in deeper into yourself, into your sensuality and who you are in order to embody your feminine energy. Because I feel like you guys are attracting someone here, are, are um, have this um, spiritual connection with someone, especially with this moon energy. There is a, mu uh, a spiritual connection in the future for you guys. And I feel like your future self is letting you know there there is is a breakthrough in your love life there will be a breakthrough here there will be you know 
um, communication here. There will be someone new that will come in here for you, okay? But and it's going to be in a sense of uh, that it's going to feel like a miracle because it's going to be happening in, in the right divine timing. And I, and I get it because I hate that fucking word and, and I fucking get it. But with this connect with the fire, like, I feel like, again, this energy, like, you know, connect with your inner desire, connect with your fire, connect with your sensuality energy here. Because there, I feel like there's, again, new information that will be coming in for you guys. So for those that um, resonate or connect with the other message in regards to love. Um, but let's read this card because I always read, um, I've been reading the card for the other piles. Um, so pile three, so fifth ray of intellectual knowledge, the fifth ray of the intellectual knowledge has come to you as a spiritual gift. And it's funny. Oh my God. Cause I was saying your, your future self is like offering you guys something. It's like, it's like this gift, like it's offering you something, but it's not like something physically, but it's like a spiritual gift. Like just exactly like what this card is saying. You are being given the ability to find transformation. You need understand the systems that impact your life and find clarity in any issue that has seemed unclear or overwhelming. You shall sort the truth from the lies and learn what you need to know. The Archangel Raphael now assists you in integrating the blessings of the fifth ray. You are distilling a new truth. It might be the truth of discernment where you realize the appearance of a person, a group, or a cause of misleading different to the inner reality. Discernment is in incredibly important on the spiritual path, all the more so as you open up to work with energies, with teachers and teachings, and to sort out all issues in your life according to your spiritual principles their sermon is not judgment but it does allow you to make informed decision based on frequency when you choose to associate with people who are on a higher frequency everyone benefits if you choose to associate with people on a lower frequency than your own you may feel your life moving more slowly becoming harder than it needs to be discernment helps you navigate through illusions and find the real gems it helps you step back from those who stay who say they want to support you, but who actually just want to take and not give in return. The fifth ray helps you choose wisely and sever unhealthy connections. This ray also seems to also come to you when there is more to something than meets the eye. So again, if you guys been needing clarity, you know, it will come in. If you guys have been um, feeling like if this person is, you know, or something is not being truthful or in a situation is not, and it's not, appearing to be what it uh, what it seems to be then it most likely is not so again listen to your intuition okay listen to your intuition your internal guidance but whatever it is the future self is letting you know there will be guidance there will be clarity there will be a breakthrough through whatever energy you're working through because there is an energetic shift you're working through and i feel like this energetic shift is in, in regards to a race of consciousness a race of energetic of energy in order to attract something better because you guys have grown have you know elevated have ascended here a bit so again because you guys are in this feminine energy so i feel like there is you guys are are in this energy of receiving newness i feel like you guys are are in this space of already to receive newness and i feel like this is what your future self is letting you know you will come into this you know it's all in perfect timing and divine timing just have patience okay so i hope this helps i hope this resonates let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll take and talk to you guys next time